I got an HP laptop, pretty new. It's got a bad screen, defective screen. I'm going to replace it and I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, I got an HP laptop here. It has a defective screen. Um, I got to replace it. And I'm going to show you how to get these narrow bezels off here. These are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, like I said, it's not very old, but it does have a defective screen. So, the way they put these screens in and these bezels at the factory now, there's no screws. There's no screws anywhere holding this, any of this in. It's all glue and adhesive. Um, and it's very, very tricky without breaking something, mainly this bezel. So I'm going to attempt to show you how to get the old screen out and, you'll, and the bezel off to, and get a new screen in. So the first thing we got to do is that we have to get in, I'm going to use a plastic or a nylon spudger tool here. There's different types of these, but it is a defective screen. So if you accidentally mar your screen, it's not the end of the world, but let's try not to. So the way to get these bezels off, they do use an adhesive for these bezels, plus they're kind of snapped in. You just have to take your time. It's very, very easy to break this bezel. Um, super thin, both ways, width and thickness. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this thing around here, guys, and lay it like this. And we're gonna start in underneath of an edge here. I'm gonna get my tool in here to try to get this kind of started. Just gotta find this find a weak spot here if I can. I'm sorry camera guy. Well actually let me try this one. I just don't like getting that next to the screen. That was hard to see. All right I'm going to be moving this around a lot so bear with me. You can see here how I kind of got it broke loose here the bezel but it's super duper thin so we got to be very careful and be conscious of everything else that's going on. This bezel is just uh, a lot of the you know new models as you probably know Acer, Dell, HP they're putting these narrow bezels on they're giving you more screen area and less plastic. I'm just kind of working this between the screen and the bezel guys. So once I get it started though I can usually get my fingers like along, along it here you gotta go very slow and be patient. Just snap it loose. See it's starting to come up. Some are easier than others, but there is an adhesive in there. And the wheat in these corners are usually a bugger. Still wanna break it. It's a pain when that happens. Oh, there we go. I use my finger. I've done a lot of these and you just kind of can tell from feel what your breaking point is and when you have a tool in there you can't really feel anything. So it's just a matter of experience I guess more than anything. Now the top is a little wider but it's still the same thickness so you still got to be gentle. Watch out for your camera behind the little lens cover there. And you do have wires running along in the side here for your Wi-Fi antennas. You want to be conscious of that. I'm just kind of doing this by feel, guys. It's just so darn narrow and thin. Watch out for that antenna wire there. Hit and miss here. There we go. Sometimes it just snaps loose without even really doing anything. It's just kind of hit and miss there. All right. So I'm going to be flopping around that. Now along the bottom here, this bezel actually goes in a little bit behind this hinge cover here. I've always gotten these bezels off without taking that hinge cover off there. It's tucked in behind there. It's got lots of little clips sticking out on it. If you're really careful, you can get it out because you can remove this 
hinge cover, but it almost never comes off without breaking one or two or more of those little clips that kind of, from the back side here, how you remove it is they give you just a little extra clearance down here. It kind of slides slightly there. You have to get a tool and you have to <clears throat> that way a little bit. Then you use a spudger in here to kind of break it loose, but they almost never go back on right. Um, it's just a pain. So I've had better luck doing it the way I'm, I'm doing it. If you want to do it your own way, that's fine, but I've done lots of these and now my thing snap back on there. And there's adhesive behind this glued to the bottom part of your screen here. So that is stuck to this area here. If we end up damaging this a little bit, like I said, it's not the end of the world, but if you take your finger, you can usually get it started. You can hear it. You gotta be careful shoving tools down in there because your LCD cable connects right over here in this area, as you can see by this. But I'm just gonna take my time here and kind of you can hear it gooing up from that adhesive. I'll try to leave that on. All right, so I usually like to start on my left hand side over here. I'm going to, a little gentle pressure. You can see how that's coming up out of there. Got to take your time. There. So we got the bezel off without breaking it, which is good. And you can see where it was adhesive to the to this. All right. So the way these screens are mounted in there is they got they, the the manufacturers. They all use it. Um, it's a stretch to release adhesive. It made it's made by 3M. It is not available to purchase. It just isn't. There's stuff that is close, and the closest I found. It's not a stretch release. It's a double sided adhesive. This is about three and a half four millimeters wide. It's unbelievably thin. It's double sided black glue tape. They use this type, exact same kind of tape for like screens on phones and tablets, digitizers and things like that. So this is what I'm going to put it back in with. But the stretch to release adhesive, they leave a little tiny bit. If you look really close up here in the corner, here and here and even down here and down here, you can see a little bit of that black right there. That's, that's the stretch to release. I'm using my little tweezers here to get a hold of it. Being careful of the Wi-Fi wires. It's very hard to get a hold of, but you have to get a hold of it, get it started like that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, if you look and see, I got my fingers holding it here. I'm going to slowly, but firmly, I'm just pulling it. Hopefully it don't break. If it does, then we have to start and try to get in at the bottom. You can see that, guys. See, I'm, it's got quite a bit of stretch to it, but you just got to go slow. Stretch to release. It's very gooey. You can, you you won't be able to reuse it. See the screens coming loose from the lid. I'm doing it. I, I normally would have this laying down flat doing this, but I wanted you guys to be able to see. I do this on both sides to get that screen out of there. Come on, there. That's what you end up with is a glob of uh, a wad of goo. So anyway, we're done with that. Now we got to do the other side. I need those later. So you can see this side even has less exposed here, that little black thing sticking out there. I got to try to get it out of here. Uh, wish they left more. I know you can't see, but I'm sorry, I gotta, I don't wanna lose it. It's good adhesive, but 
I have looked and looked and researched. I found the product, but you can't buy it. Only the OEMs can get a hold of this stuff. I haven't found a third party that makes this. They got an exclusive patent on this. It's like those, what do you call them, command strips from 3M. Stick them on the wall and you pull to release. This is a little more advanced version of that there. So that's that. Now our screen will come right out. Lay it right down on the keyboard here. Just like that, guys. Look at that connector there. All right, here's our 30 pin connector over here. Take a very sharp tool like this. I'm gonna try to get this protective tape out here and reuse it if at all possible to disconnect it. You see you got your, your, your webcam wire here, you got your antenna wires running in the lid there. Oh, I just turned it on, my bad. Hit the power button. Tell me when that power light goes off over there. Yep. Oh. Is, it, is it off? It's blinking, it's sleeping. Uh, we'll get it. There. It's off? Mm-hmm. Yeah, can um, I just got to be more careful of that power. The power switch is right there. I guess it don't matter if it comes on now, but I'd rather it didn't. So I get this tape up here. Don't have to reuse this. I got my own tape. Just trying to make it make it pretty. Just covering up our connection down here. And it came on again. <laughs> Dirty bugger. Get up there. Now it's all wadded up. Now look at that cable there. <sighs> Stupid thing keeps coming on. Screen's freaking out. Tell me again when it's off. Off. Oop. It does it, it goes off and then like it that's when it tells you it's sleeping, so it's sleeping right now. I want it off. Yeah. The battery's inside, so it's not like I can just disconnect the battery. There we go. Yeah, she's it's off. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I should have grabbed one of those pads to lay, down, oops, to lay down there. So anyway, we got another piece of tape here. This is our connection here. They don't give you a lot of extra cable there. As you can see, it's channeled down in there, but let me try to peel this up. This isn't rocket science, guys, but you just have to be careful and take your time doing these screens. It's an innovative way to mount the screen, no screws, I like that, but I just wish they made that piece of a little easier to get out of there and that bezel, it's just price we pay for our new sleek streamlined technology, I guess. And guys like me wanna fix them. But that's some sticky tape. Strong tape. All right, so now I should just cable should just pull right out of there. Get a hold of it here and there. So we're disconnected. All right, and our laptop is still off, right? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Stay stay put. All right, guys. I had to go grab my little protective mat here before I put that new screen down there. So here's our new screen. Oh, by the way, it is full HD. It's 1080, 1920 by 1080 screen. So here's our new one. I'm gonna lay it in place here. I'm gonna reconnect that. Like I said, they don't give you a whole lot to work with here, but it only goes in one way. Just gotta make sure it's snapped in and pushed in all the way. That's the big, that's the key. Cause you don't wanna get that all back in there and not have it be connected properly. Cause that would suck. There's our little snap, you probably didn't hear a little click. Well, that looks good. Let's see if I can get this back on there. I do have my own tape, but I think this is gonna get us where we need to be. Want everything kind of flat back here. You don't want any bumps or anything, you want anything pressing on the screen, so. 
All right, so we're there. Now, what I'm going to do with my adhesive here, I'm going to put a strip over here and a strip over here. Now, you're going to ask, like, well, what if you have to take the screen off again? Well, this, this is not that difficult to remove. Once you get the bezel off, you can get a tool in behind there, a plastic tool with a little bit of just easy momentum pressure. You can break this loose from this without too much trouble. I've done it. So um, it's not like a permanent type adhesive but enough to hold it in. The bezel is going to hold everything in place. I don't go nuts with the tape over here, just enough to kind of hold it in place until I get the um, bezel back on. So let me get a nice square edge started here. So I'm just going to put a piece, not a lot, and start about right there. And Actually, I gotta go over a little bit. Sorry, guys. Wanna be over a little bit further. <clears throat> About like that. Now I'm gonna go up all the way. About like that. I'm gonna kinda stagger it here. Remember, you got a new screen. You want to be pressing down really hard on it. Been there, done that. Nice and flat. And I'll just take my little tweezy tweezers. Get that tape off there. Just like that. See, it's pretty sticky, but like I said, not too sticky where you can't get it back off. So... had about four or five screen jobs this week for some reason. Now, when I put this back in, I want these top corners up, up in these corners as high as possible. There's very little clearance in here, but you want it up more than you want it down. So I'm going to gently pick it up. Watch your connector down there. I'm gonna put this corner up. That corner up. I'm not, not squeezing the screen, just kind of letting gravity do the work here. And our cable. Because otherwise your bezel doesn't line up quite right down here if you don't have that in. It's a tight fit, there we go. Just don't want to squeeze it. Like I said, I'm just using very gentle pressure to get that adhesive to take hold. And then, we're, then we'll be good. All right, so we're done with that. Then I'm going to move the screen protector here. Nice, pretty new screen. Now, these things are so flimsy, so thin, not much to them. <laughs> so I'm going to start back down in the same corner here as I took it off. I'm going to tuck that in. Just got to kind of have to work it here. Got these little tabs that are sticking out here. You got to get them in behind that hinge cover. Again, be careful of your screen. Don't press on it. These sometimes fall right into place. Sometimes they don't. Being difficult. There's my tool. There we go. A little gentle pressure. Now, if you look, you're going to see a little bit of a gap down here between the hitch cover and the bezel. That's okay. I can fix that from the back. Not worried about that right now. I'm going to gently try to work my bezel back in place here. I need to get these corners started here. not squeeze it on the screen itself I'm just doing the bezel so to speak Ooh, we got a little open spot there all right we got to make sure we're snapped in down here which we are I take this part of my hand this part of my hand and I like to do this along along down here 
keep pressure on the back just to make sure that's it in before I mess with that hinge cover, which it is. So that looks pretty darn good. Now, to get rid of that, we're gonna put this around. You can see in the back here how it's separated. So I'm gonna squeeze that back into place if possible. You hear it clicking and snapping, boom, nice and tight, looks good. And you can see we're all closed up nice and tight down here. So we got our brand new screen in there. And we should be good. So if you try to do a project like this yourself, guys, just if you break that bezel, it's not the end of the world. You can glue it or whatever, but there you go. It works great. So I appreciate you watching. If you like it, give me a like. If you loved it, love it, give me a sub. Uh, check out my playlist. Um, have a great day, guys.